Hi, welcome to a short walkthrough of the Ask Emma administration interface. You can go to the administration interface by surfing to ic.askemma.eu, fill in your credentials and click the sign in button. On the first page you will see the dashboard. This is a demo account, so unfortunately no orders to be seen, but here your orders will show up for every day. At the left side, the menu, you can scroll at the left side and you can go to the details of your shop, change its name, descriptions, the address information, the URL, etc. You can provide some uh, images about your shop, your pickup locations, counter desk where people can go to pick up their food or drinks. Important, the order list, when your people order, you can find the details in here. I've put some uh, three demo orders in. For each order, you can see some order information, which date, which channel people ordered, and obviously what did they order, including the VAT uh, information. Takeaway, these settings show some more detail about which catalog that people can choose from. The days available for order are important. These are the days and times when people can order. We will come, the second is the time slots. And time slots is also important because the time slots for takeaway are the moments that people can go and pick up their order. It's important. So you can have also multiple time slots in a day. For example, if we look to Monday, here it's from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. We can just add another time slot and say, look, our restaurant will be open also in the evening between, for example, let's say uh, 20, so 8 p.m. and uh, 10 p.m. Let's go to 10 p.m. Okay, that's it. It's 15 minutes between each time slot. So if too many people order, the Ask Emma system will propose another time slot 15 minutes later. So uh, we can also change this to 30, 30 minutes, for example, it's done. Don't forget to save your time slots whenever you're done. The same is for the uh, delivery. So I'll go over that. You can draw sales reports if you want for certain periods. Um, here, important are the, the catalogs and the products. So let me go first to products and then we will jump to catalogs. So down the products, you define the, the products that you sell, obviously. So let's add the product. Uh, I will say, look, it's um, pizza, pizza Hawaii, for example. Uh, there's a short description, it's optional, so just pizza. Um, okay, the, not a dis or longer description, pizza, long description. Uh, for this demo, we'll keep it short. I can provide an image. And I need to define which uh, VT class this product is. So there's uh, one defined, it's a 21%. You can define VAT classes here in the menu at the left side. So you can enter, for example, 6% for takeaway, take etc. Okay, when I have saved my product, and now I have defined a base product, but I need to define at least one stock item. So for example, I will say, look, I have to scroll down and I fill in Pizza Hawaii. I have to indicate again Pizza Hawaii, short description, long description, you can provide a picture. And here I can define the price. So uh, for example, it's uh, 7 euro 50. I will not provide promotion price. And there are some extra detail fields, but uh, for this demo, I will keep it short. So, okay, okay, perfect. Imagine I made a mistake, I just click on this line, click, and I'll change price to 790 for example and save again. Okay, cool. So we have a new product. I can say if a product for example is alcohol, then I just have to click Agile only and, I, and I'll save. I can also hide a product if I don't want that uh, people order it. For example, if some, something is out of stock, I just can click here hidden. So let's look to our products. We now have five products available and I will assign this Pizza Hawaii to my demo catalog. 
So I click here. There is already category pizza. If I want to add a new one, I just click here if I want to add a new category. But here I click on the existing one. I scroll down the page. There's a pizza margarita and scampi. I just add an existing product. So I click here, add products. And I just type the name. All right, Hawaii, and I'll save. Don't forget to save. Okay. Imagine I want to change the order of the products shown to the customer. I can say, look, I want the Pizza Hawaii the first, Margarita should be last, and this company can be its second offer. Always forget, don't forget to save, save positions. Perfect. Okay, so that's our uh, catalog. We can also uh, input uh, options, for example, for example uh, condiments. Every option has a condiment, so condiment, condiment uh, one. I'll just give uh, mayo, mayonnaise, for example. I can indicate that an option must be taken or not, and I can also indicate multiple values. For this short demo, I will just uh, skip this. I have a list of customers in this demo account. There are not many customers obviously, then the payment means are interesting. So I can indicate that people pay, uh, pay and pick up, pay and pick up in the store. So uh, I have enabled it, save. But there are other payment means. You can see them at the right side. They're all to choose from. Okay, so, I can send a push notification. This is only for uh, if people order via Facebook Messenger. And then I also have at the left side, so I scroll down, I can also send an email. So imagine I want to send out an email. I just can type in the name of the mail notification, for example, email when new order comes in, order comes in and I'll choose a status so it's a new order and I go through the steps to define so I get warned when there is a new email. There are some cash register integrations, I will skip this for this uh, demo. Um, so let's go to the, um, uh, the step of the users so I can add new users with another role. For example here there's only one role but there are in fact three roles in a regular account which is user and admin. Here in the demo account, I'm logged in with Super Admin, so there's only one uh, role visible. There are also the Manage Embedded Shop. This is important. This is the web shop where your customers will eventually order. I've linked it to the only catalog that's available in my account, but you can create multiple catalogs and just switch here. You can also indicate that the shop is only valid from a certain period and time. Mostly you can just uh, skip the countries uh, and the other information. You can add Facebook pixels or Google Analytics IDs if you want to. So you give the, your shop a name and there here's a button, open a web, just click it and you run your web shop where you can order. I ordered Pizza Hawaii, I put it first, you see, like that. That's it, thank you for watching, bye bye.